I'd like to give you one more thought if I could. Um, I want you to think with me in terms of his birth is the cause of hope. You see, Jesus comes to the cross to here and it's, it's a birth of hope in a sinless world in the darkness of sin and no way out and how to fix things. It's hard to figure out. Jesus came so that we could be saved. The Bible says in Matthew 1 23, a virgin will have a child and you'll call his name Emmanuel. God with us. See, God made us and now God loves us and he comes to give us a relationship. That's what he said from the very beginning. He said, name the baby Jesus. He said also, <coughs> you name him Emmanuel, God with us. See, Jesus came, was born and lived among us and died on a cross, was dead and buried for three days rose again, ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and <clears throat> death couldn't destroy him. He destroyed death and hell. Satan is defeated. Satan is defeated and crushed under the feet of Jesus. Back in Genesis 3.15, we've looked at that before. There was a promise that one day the seed of the woman would come in and stomp the head of the devil, and that's what Jesus did. Romans 16, 20, there's a tremendous promise for all believers. It says, the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet. Stomp his head and he will be gone. You realize what's said at the, at the birth of Christ? God wanted people to have hope. You can have hope. It says in Luke 2, 14, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. God showed goodwill toward men. In Romans 5, 1, we can have the peace with God. In Romans or Philippians chapter 4, and verse 7, we can have the peace of God. All of that comes through Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross of Calvary. If you've not yet trusted him, you've not yet believed on him, I challenge you to do so. It'll revolutionize your life. It'll change you. I know maybe you've had some bad treatment and some harsh and critical and judgmental Christians have messed with you. Boy, they do that to me too. But trust Jesus. Trust the Jesus of the Bible and be saved. That's what Christmas is about this year. God bless you. Merry Christmas.